Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm Star Lord, and uh, yeah, I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the video, guys. Um, and today we're in Rose Cove City. Look at all of these beautiful, awesome people right here. These are actually a couple of my, uh, I guess, fan base. I guess a little bit of a Star Squad. I guess these guys are the Star Squad. This dude right here's got a Robo Sloth gaming T-shirt on, so that's pretty cool that he supports uh, Robo Sloth. But everyone's here. Look at this, this killer dude. He's actually pretty cool too. He's pretty excited to be in today's video with me. Uh, but anyway guys, these are pretty awesome people and uh, today I actually wanted to say that uh, I will be announcing the, uh, what is it, Shiny Sneasel video or giveaway very very soon. So if you do want a chance to have a Shiny Sneasel guys uh, with my OT, then remember to leave a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That video will be up in the next day or two and then also I will pick the winners on Saturday or Sunday of who won the Shiny Sneasel itself. Uh, so make sure to keep an eye out for that guys check every video in case I announce it uh, But anyway guys here we are today in Rose Cove City and I actually kind of wanted to propose an idea or a really cool little collectible idea for Pokemon Brick Bronze that the developers could add uh, Sometime very soon into the game. It would actually be pretty pretty awesome and this little idea um, first came about a long time ago when I am um, uh, Kyle Allen music was actually going to make his own Pokemon game um, and I suggested you know how about we do this and he was like I love that idea that is amazing I'm pretty sure another subscriber actually said something like this too but what I actually really would like to see added to this game is some sort of collectible items that you have to get. Uh, so let's say, for example, within the world of Roria, there is a hundred of these items scattered about in secret locations. But the secret locations can only be got. Uh, well, uh, get gotted to? No, got to. You can only get to these secret locations by doing glitches. Now. The reason why you have to kind of do glitches to get to these locations is because the things that you're collecting will actually be Masingo trophies. Like, I don't know if you guys know what a Masingo is, but back when Pokemon was like really glitchy, when bl uh, blue, red, yellow, and uh, even the Japanese version of green was out, there used to be a, a Pokemon, a weird looking Pokemon called Masingo uh, or Missing No. And um, basically, this would pretty much cause your game to glitch and crash. And it was born from a glitch. It was a glitched Pokemon or a glitched Pokedex entry. Uh, it'll probably be on screen right now so that you guys can see what he looks like. But just imagine that somewhere in the game, like for example right now, imagine that there's one right here above this tree. Just right there above that tree. Right there. That's all it is. Just right there above that tree. Imagine that. And you actually have to try and glitch to actually get to this Pokemon, which is isn't that hard because you know the glitch to get to the tree is pretty easy you have to get the hoverboard and then you kind of do that and then you're in the tree and then imagine like you know you could collect the trophy and then somewhere it would actually say like uh, Masingo trophies one out of a hundred right and what you basically have to do is try and get all and find all Masingo trophies now this is like such an easy update the developers of pokemon brick bronze can do this very very easy i promise you guys it would literally not even take that much of a like of a thing to do they, all they would have to do is kind of like place them in as they're making an update and that's it look i can get up here and there could be one here or one even there there could even be one there just like it didn't have to be a glitch well actually they i i feel like they would have to be in glitch areas like where you have to glitch to get them um, because, you know, it would make them harder to get. But there would be people on YouTube like me and other YouTubers who cover this game who will actually show you guides on how to get them, where to find them, and the easiest way to get them and how to glitch. How cool would that be? Uh, so basically, like, the point of this would be after you've collected all 100 Missing No trophies, you get some sort of... I don't know, like special Pokemon or something, like maybe a glitched Badoof or something. I don't know. I personally think this would be awesome. I, I really don't know. And I'm just kind of spitballing here for an idea that I would really like to see added to Pokemon Brick Bonds. Because this could be added in and it would last a long time. It would definitely last over a week. Like, it would, there would be no way that people would get this, like, all of those Masingo trophies uh, in less than a week. There definitely wouldn't be. And... 
if they did it, I know a lot of people would come back and play the game and everything like that. It would just kind of be a fun little thing that people can do. The content creators can make videos on them, and also people will check on YouTube to see them, and it would popularize, popularize? Yeah, it would make the game a little bit more popular again. You, you kind of get what I'm talking about, guys. You kind of get what I'm talking about. Um, but basically, if you guys think that this is a kind of sweet idea and you would like to see it added into the game, please comment down below, because I'm pretty sure that the developers would like to add some Something like this into the game, like some little nod to Masingno or something like that uh, in their game. And this would be the perfect opportunity to do it. Like maybe after you catch all hundreds of these trophies that you have to glitch to, you get a glitched Badoof or, you know, something along the lines of that. You know, like a special Badoof that just looks like it's glitchy or it's like red, blue, green, yellowy, all of that kind of poop. I, I guess you kind of know. Um, but, yeah, I've been, like, wanting this for a little while now, and I actually, like, I didn't make a wishlist video on it because I thought that Kyle Allen would make his video or his uh, Roblox game and do it like that and everything. But in the end, you know, it got cancelled and everything. So I thought, you know what, I may as well share the idea with the Roblox developers of Pokemon Brick Bronze and see if it's something that they would actually really like to do. I don't know if they will or not. But with enough people actually like tweeting them or being hyped about something like this, I'm pretty sure they would. And it doesn't have to be a glitch Badoof that you get for collecting 100. Maybe it's like, collect collect 25, you get a glitch Badoof. Collect 50, you get a glitched Scyther. Collect 100. Well, you know, we have to find out to see what they would want to do with that. But maybe it could be like a glitch Legendary or a, a Mythical or something like that. I don't know. It seems pretty awesome to me, personally, guys. Um, but anyway, guys, I really hope that you did enjoy today's video and that you think that this little idea is actually something pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. I think it is, personally, and uh, I hope that you guys would very much agree with me. <laughs> These dudes are going crazy. These are awesome people, by the way. Look at them. They're all trying to glitch. The killer's trying to glitch. He's doing awesome. He's telling Rotten to climb. What are you doing, you silly Billy? Um, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it and if you do want to see more videos like this where I kind of try and give the developers like little ideas for the future for future updates after the 8th gym and uh, you know the raw real league is finished then feel free to comment down below and uh, kind of state your opinion on them now, before I end today's video, guys, I would like to also remind you that I am having a Roblox giveaway, or Robux, Robux? Yeah, I'm having a Robux giveaway sometime in December. I know that I've been doing, uh, well, I plan to do, like, uh, a rare shiny Pokemon a giveaway every like week now, but I've also had a Robux giveaway planned on the channel for a around about like four or five weeks now, and it's coming closer to December. I just always kind of want to remind you guys that it's actually happening and everything. For those of you who are new to the channel who probably haven't even known about it or anything, it's kind of just nice to kind of remind people and to uh, kind of give this information to the newer people of the channel too. So if you are new here, welcome to the channel guys. And um, yeah, like I said, I am having a Robux giveaway. There's going to be around about like five or six winners, maybe more depending on how much Robux I actually give away. Um, and that'll be taking place around December time. I have decided how I'm going to do this. Um, it's going to take a little bit of planning on my part, but still if you guys have Twitter The best place to probably go is follow me on Twitter And I will keep you updated there as well as the end of my videos or the start of my videos uh, Typically, uh, so that's pretty much it to be honest I just kind of wanted to remind you that that's actually happening It's still on and uh, I have been saving a little bit of money away so that I can actually do the robux giveaways um, It's it's gonna be pretty awesome and I know for a fact for the five six seven people who who win it, you guys will be very happy, and it'll be like an early uh, Christmas kind of present thing, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, but anyway, guys, yeah, I just kind of want to remind you, and uh, yeah, I, I, I guess, I guess that's it. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope that you have an awesome day. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for the giveaways that I've got going on uh, all through this month and also through December. And uh, yeah, I guess have an awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.